Hello again. Uh, here's another game of mine from the Spanish opening. And uh, I got a nice position out of the opening. White has a passed pawn in the center on the E file, and he has some pressure on the C file against the backward pawn on the C6. White's bishop is uh, outside of the pawn chain, so it's a bit more active than the black bishop. Um, and, and white has an idea of how to improve his position. Basically, white wants to play b4 and then rook a3 and rook, uh, rook a7. And instead of putting pressure on the g file, he wants to put the pressure on the 7th rank. Um, so here, a nice combination could have occurred if, played, if black tried to resist. Say, if black uh, played rook a8 uh, and tried to take over the uh, the file himself, uh, then this would release uh, the blockade on the uh, on the e pawn, and um, White would have a nice sacrifice. Basically, I have very strong pressure on the g7 pawn, but I only have two pieces doing it, and they're two defenders, right? And um, it's often said about the, po the positions with the opposite colored bishops that if you have uh, the bishops with opposite colors and you have an attack, you basically have an extra piece because the, the opponent's bishop can't help to defend that complex of squares. So say, my bishop is the only bishop attacking on the dark squares and black's, and, and black's bishop can't really protect those dark squares because it's only moving on the light squares. But how exactly do I get the, the bishop from d6 to attack uh, g7, I could try to do something like bishop e7, bishop of 6 but it doesn't really seem to work so there's a much simpler solution I could just play e6 here and the pawn is just completely sacrificed um, for nothing pretty much but the only thing that that white gets in return is just the square for the bishop and after bishop e5 there's really no defense um, against white's attack so black has to play something like um, rook g8 and then it seems again that I just can't increase the pressure because there are three defenders and I have three attackers and I can't really bring my king over but it turns out that I can easily attack with a pawn and really h5 h6 is just coming and black is gonna um, die because of this pin on the on this diagonal so if he tries to play something like h6 then I just take in his checkmate because of the pin um, so the only thing that black could try is he could try to play queen g6 but then I just take take and it's not just a pawn that I'm getting back I'm actually winning a piece because if he if he moves the bishop trying to defend then again I give this checkmate so he has to play king h7 and then I just win easily by winning the piece so queen g6 is not working but there's really nothing better so with this very simple idea of transferring the bishop to uh, e5 white pretty much would have won the game on the spot so in the game black actually did not fall for rook a8 but he then had to surrender the a file and I managed to win the game anyway